I'm tiny little thing. Look at this noodle cord. All right. Oh, dance around that cord. Oh. <laughs> Got that. Congratulations, my dear. Happy birthday, Brooks! Oh, what's up? <laughs> you did it, Good guys! Job. Congratulations, Mama! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> so It is July thirty-first. At what time? Like nine. Like nine thirty. It's late, so. I don't think you're gonna be a July baby, but we're heading to the hospital. I'm gonna go give it a shot. Mommy's in a lot of pain. Been in a lot of pain all day. I feel like even when I woke up this morning, I just kind of figured we'd go to the hospital today, but I was trying to labor at home, and yeah, now it's time to go. We're gonna give it a shot. Let's go have a sup. All right, current update, it is 12.53 the next day, August 1st. So last night, um, she was not in labor. So we went home, got home around like what, midnight last night? Yeah. And then at about 8.20 this, this morning. Yeah, well this morning I woke up and went to the bathroom. And then after, just my water broke at like 8.20. Her water broke everywhere. So I stepped in it, it was we disgusting. We went to Chick-fil-A and got breakfast and here we are. So we've been here for probably like three hours and it's going to be a while. So she still is not any more dilated than she was last night, but her water did break. So I'm still one centimeter dilated, which is not a lot at all. <laughs> so I'm gonna be bouncing on this ball. They gave me some medicine to try to soften my cervix. So they said they won't even check that for four hours. So it's going to be a day. So at like 4.30 and it's almost 1 right now. So we're just chilling and watching Friends. It's yep. on commercial right now, but yeah, this is our room for the next however long. Little view of downtown and we're just chilling. Bouncing away. Bouncing. We'll see if it's an August 1st baby or an August 2nd. Maybe August 2nd. At this rate. But I mean, come on, look at this. His little hat and everything. Being in the room, it's very real now. Having an IV in my arm <laughs> makes it feel very real. We love you, Brooks. Can't wait to meet you, buddy. Pink. You're in here. My and little soon stud. you'll be out. My best friend. Room service for daddy. You get to eat. Longer. Actually, it looks pretty good. You have like a whole little tray of food there. Yeah. <laughs> Got a Coke Icy and some strawberry jello to have. So this is my meal, since I can't have any, like, solid foods or anything. It is 4.41 in the afternoon, August 1st, and we are still at one centimeter dilated so we are not that close so it's been like eight hours since my water broke it's been a while we've been in the hospital a while yeah we will see so they're gonna check again in like an hour hour and a half and then figure out what to do from there so i'm just bouncing on this ball we are trying to make an august baby but or an august first baby but might be august he might be an august second. It is almost 8 p.m. and last the check, like the last check they did, I was still one centimeter dilated. So definitely not dilating, but I've had two doses of medicine now to try and get things moving, and the contractions are definitely getting worse and worse. The pain is just getting worse. So yeah, just hanging out until I basically dilate more. There's really nothing we can do until then, but we've been here for eight, nine, ten hours just sitting here. Are you having fun? So much fun. <laughs> this is just great vacation. We do have a really big room though. The view out there. We have a nice little view, but the room is actually huge. I guess this is the biggest 
labor and delivery room. So they said it's the VIP room. It's the VIP. So they knew we were coming. Yet they did. We got lucky with that one. So on the screen, you can see my contractions, which are those. <laughs> so they're really intense. These are probably a minute apart. They've been like a minute to three minutes apart, but right now they're like almost a minute apart exactly. All right, it is 11.30 p.m. PM and the contractions are very bad. Strong. Very strong. Cass is about to get an epidural. Look at all those contractions. Look how close they are too. I'm like shaking. I don't know why. She's a queen. Thank you. Rockstar. Thank you. Contraction right now. Not yet. I see it. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little one. 46 in the morning. I'm at a nine. I woke up from a nap. It was a four last time you check, and now I'm at a nine. So it's baby time. I'm sitting up to get baby out. All right, Brooks. Time to meet you, buddy. Mommy's got this. I'm a tiny little thing. Look at that. All right. Oh, that's a dance around the court. <laughs> Oh, Hi, this boy. Hi. Happy birthday. Yeah. You're doing great. This is a big skip in the video. We'll explain later, but this is Brooks, John Spinelli, born at 717 in the morning, 20 inches, seven pounds, four ounces. Baby's doing good, mommy's doing good. You are cute. All right, so we're gonna update basically everything that's gone on. Cass is back there nursing Brooks. I really don't know where we left off last night. Last night was a blur just because it's actually blended in with today. Pretty much, Cass's water broke at 8.20 yesterday. We got to the hospital around 9.20, 9.30. We were in triage for a couple hours, then we got transferred into the labor room, I wanna say probably around noon. And we were there until uh, he was born at 7.17 this morning. Cass was around like a two, I wanna say, or a three at like midnight around midnight and so it wasn't looking like he was coming anytime soon um she eventually got an epidural and got on pitocin and that moved the process up real fast by like i want to say 3 45 4 o'clock she was at nine centimeters dilated uh by around 6 30 ish it was around time to push she pushed for about 20 minutes and he was born at 7 17. it was a very crazy experience i watched everything i didn't expect to but i did and it was very emotional um, I'm sure we'll throw in the clip um, that we were able to get filmed on our phone. Really, we didn't want to set up the camera and just like have it running. Like we just really wanted to be present. Um, same reason why we didn't really feel the need to pull out the camera today. Uh, we really wanted to just be present in this entire experience. Um, but it has been great so far. Baby is super healthy. Brooks is doing super good. Mom is doing super good. Obviously, she's in a little bit of pain, um, but she just did a supernatural thing. Um, so that's expected, but overall she's super good. Vitals are good. Baby's vitals are good. Um, we're going to be here a couple of days. So he was born 717 this morning. We'll get checked out. And that was Wednesday. The second we'll get checked out Friday. Um, so we're here for a little bit. Um, but overall he's nursing. He's latched on. He is a great baby. He's super cute. And yeah, everything's going really good so far. Any thoughts, mama? How's mom life so far? Well, with him, it's very magical. <laughs> he makes everything worth it. Good. Not a bad view out the window. See downtown a little bit. A lot worse views for sure. We're stuck here for a couple days. This is Thursday. Is it Thursday? I have no idea what it is. Thursday, and we get to go home in a couple hours. And Brooksy gets to meet Maybe.
at Brooks. Here you are with your grandparents. Smell, smell, sniff it. 